The first diagnosis of the respiratory diseases caused by novel mean new coronavirus was in Wuhan in Hubei province, China December 2019. This virus quickly spread throughout China and to the rest of the world in 2020 April, almost 3 million people affected by COVID-19. Hello, everyone. Welcome to The Look and Live. If you are not subscribed yet, you are definitely missing the content of opportunity which could let you to go ahead. Italy claims to develop first COVID-19 vaccine, here is the current status of all the potential coronavirus vaccines 0110 Italy claims to develop first COVID-19 vaccine, here is the current status of all the potential coronavirus vaccines the novel coronavirus is rapidly spreading its fang globally and has already led to more than 258,344 deaths and 3.66 million positive cases. Yes, that is a huge number and will most likely continue to rise in the coming days. Even though the countries across the globe have closed their borders and continue to take stringent measures, including a complete lockdown, to contain the spread of this highly infectious virus, the flattening of the curve is yet to be seen. In the United States, COVID-19 has caused more than 68,000 fatalities and the number of positive cases has touched almost 1.2 million. Italy, on the other hand, remains one of the worst hit nations in the world with 213,013 positive cases. It is important to note these two countries boast of one of the most sophisticated healthcare systems in the world. Health experts across the globe have been constantly reminding people to stay indoors so as to not overwhelm the healthcare system and give the medical experts and scientists more time to develop a vaccine. Second, when will we have the coronavirus vaccine? The world has joined hands to find a vaccine for the novel coronavirus, and scientists and medical researchers across the globe are scrambling for the first breakthrough. Since the virus spreads easily and is already overwhelming the healthcare system of most countries, a vaccine is the most effective way of putting a pause on the spread of infectious disease. At present, almost 80 groups globally are working at breakneck speed for the same, even though a vaccine fit for humans normally takes years to develop. Currently, there are 111 potential vaccines. Third, Italy claims to develop first COVID-19 vaccine. While multiple research groups are developing potential vaccines, Italian scientists have claimed to develop a vaccine that has successfully generated antibodies in mice that work on human cells. The vaccine has been tested in the Spallanzani Hospital Hospital in Rome. It is said to be one of the most advanced stages of testing of a potential vaccine in the country, as the vaccine neutralizes the SARS-CoV-2 in the human cells. After a single vaccination, the mice developed antibodies that can block the virus from infecting human cells. The researchers selected the two best candidates after observing that the five vaccine candidates generated a large number of antibodies. Fourth, the significant breakthrough of Israel. Yesterday, Israeli Defense Minister Naftali Bennett announced the country had a remarkable breakthrough in the development of COVID-19 vaccine. He said that Israel's Institute for Biological Research, IIBR, has developed a monoclonal neutralizing antibody, which will effectively neutralize novel coronavirus in the body of the carriers. Bennett stated that Italian researchers have made a significant breakthrough in developing an antibody to combat novel coronavirus. He was quoted as saying, I am proud of the Institute's staff for this terrific breakthrough. Fifth, the Oxford vaccine against COVID-19. Oxford University initiated a phase one human clinical trial of its vaccine on April 23, where two volunteers were injected, and Alyssa Granato is one of the first ones to get injected with the vaccine. The vaccine chadox one cov 19 was developed under three months by the university's Jenner Institute. It uses a weakened strain of common cold virus, adenovirus, that causes infections in chimpanzees. For the vaccine to work, scientists have taken the genetic material of the novel coronavirus present on the surface of the virus and put it in the virus. Sixth, the plasma therapy is being treated as yet another complementary treatment to help the COVID-19 patients recover. The convalescent plasma therapy involves transfusing a blood component known as plasma from the body of people who have recovered from the virus attack to the severely ill patients or coronavirus patients who are at a high risk. This is said to help in kickstarting the passive immunity in the patient and could help those whose bodies aren't producing enough antibodies to curb the disease. Several hospitals across India have dived in to use plasma therapy for treating the coronavirus patients, including Uttar Pradesh, Rajasthan, Delhi, Maharashtra, and Madhya Pradesh. Delhi Health Minister had reported that six severely ill patients of COVID-19 had nearly recovered after the usage of convalescent plasma therapy. 
However, it is important to note that there are no definitive studies that show the effectiveness of plasma therapy in strengthening the immune system against the disease. Moreover, the Union Health Ministry has advised against considering plasma therapy as the ultimate treatment to battle the highly infectious disease. Seventh, the effectiveness of hydroxychloroquine the malaria drug. The malaria drug paved its way to the limelight after reports of Donald Trump requesting India to supply hydroxychloroquine to the U.S. surfaced online. The U.S. president has been backing the malaria drug as a treatment for the novel coronavirus, even though the clinical trials are underway to understand the effectiveness of hydroxychloroquine for the treatment of novel coronavirus. As per several reports, hydroxychloroquine is the first-line treatment of patients suffering from novel coronavirus in the U.S., as it's said to contain antiviral and immune-calming properties. Even the health experts in India believe that the anti-malarial drug is only available remedy for the novel coronavirus. A clinical trial also claimed that HCQ, hydroxychloroquine, can efficiently inhibit SARS-CoV-2 infection in vitro and has a good potential to combat the disease, but prolonged usage and overdose of the same can result in poisoning. The demand for anti-malaria drugs skyrocketed after preliminary reports from China found out that it enabled the recovery of COVID-19 patients. The results of the trial showed that hydroxychloroquine helped in shortening the duration of cold, cough, and fever in COVID-19 patients. However, while the malaria drug showed promise in mild to moderately ill patients, a report published in the New England Journal of Medicine, 8, the HIV drug combo, lapinavir and ritonavir. The HIV drug combo has been one of the most touted treatment plans for the COVID-19. This antiviral drug combination was initially found to be effective in treating the coronavirus patients as doctors of SMS Hospital of Jaipur, Rajasthan claimed to have given the combination of anti-HIV drugs, lapinavir and ritonavir tablets to two Italian patients. In another incident, a British national in Kerala, who had tested positive for novel coronavirus, was also given the HIV drug combo, following which he tested negative for COVID-19. However, a clinical trial of the patients in China showed that the drug combo did not improve the condition of COVID-19 patients. The trial was conducted on 199 critically ill patients and has been published in the New England Journal of Medicine. Ninth, U.S. drug company begins human trials of COVID-19 vaccine. As per the World Health Organization, there are currently eight COVID-19 vaccines which have entered the human trial phase. In the USA, Pfizer and BioNTech, pharmaceutical companies, have partnered together and have started the clinical trials of their BNT-162 vaccine program. Both the companies are working on four RNA vaccine candidates, and they injected 12 healthy adults with the Mrna vaccine candidate. In an RNA vaccine, the RNA enters the human cells and tells the cells how to build a spike protein of the coronavirus without getting sick. Once the antigen is recognized by the body, it develops protective antibodies. Tenth, injecting healthy volunteers may speed up coronavirus vaccine studies. Who? The scientists and researchers across the globe are working round the clock to develop a potential vaccine for the novel coronavirus. However, as they race against the time to produce a vaccine safe for humans, the World Health Organization has said that deliberately injecting healthy participants can actually increase the speed of the studies of the vaccine. The status of coronavirus vaccine in India. Prime Minister Narendra Modi reviewed India's status in developing a vaccine for the novel coronavirus, drug discovery, diagnosis, and testing on Tuesday. It was found that as of now more than 30 vaccines are in different stages of development, while a few are ready to go to clinical trial stages. It is also important to note that the Pune-based Serum Institute of India is the world's largest vaccine maker, and India produces 60% of the world's vaccines.